Woo, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. All right. And this is going to be a one and done. And this is a one and done. Why? Because we are barbecuing on today. I got my barbecue hat on. I got my barbecuing apron on. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch Bradley, <laughs> Terrence Bradley, in the Fannie Willis disqualification case, get utterly barbecued, cooked even. So I went through and found, went through the entire very long witness um, time, witness time, <laughs> went through the very long question and answering time. And I found some highlights that I really want to point out to you all. So with no further ado, let's bring this video in. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Got my little pause. Right Why there. would you speculate that that's when they started the relationship? What would. All right. So this is. I missed this initially, and this is Scott Sadow, who's interviewing um, or questioning Terrence Bradley via Zoom. And he starts off with the initial question that we heard many times before, that he was speculating. His interaction with Ashley Merchant was just speculation. He was just hypothesizing, but he didn't say that in the actual text message or in the phone calls, he was saying those things very authoritatively, dare I say even directly. But now he's saying, you know, I was just speculating. I didn't really know. I was just kind of speculating. Listen to what Sadow says here. Cause you to put that down as speculation. I don't recall, but um, why I thought that it started at that time. Um, but I do recall that he only met her and I testified to that that he met her in at that conference, which was in 2019. You knew that Ashley Merchant represented a defendant in this case when you were text messaging with her, correct? Yes, I did. Yes. And you knew that the reason she was asking you questions about Mr. <clears throat> Wade was because she was trying to show when the relationship began, correct? Mm. Mm, no, that's not. It's not the beginning correct. of the text message. You answered directly on your own yeah, what you cool. now claim to be speculation, right? That's correct. So I ask you one more time before I move to the next part of this. Why would you speculate when she was asking you a direct question about when the relationship started? He cooking. I have no answer for that. Except for the fact that you do, in fact, know when it started and you don't want to testify to that in court. That's Overruled. the best explanation. Isn't it? This is a completely Overruled. argumentative. That's the real, that's the true explanation, mm. but you don't want to admit it in court, correct? All right. So from what I'm gathering, I I believe what happened was Terrence Bradley had gotten in trouble at, at the law firm with Wade as a partner over some allegations. I don't know exactly what those allegations were. They're truly allegations. So they let him go. They pushed him out of the firm. And he was he was mad. He was hurt. He was upset. And because of that, he wanted to get back. Therefore, he started texting and reaching out to Ashley Merchant, who's one of Trump's lawyers, and let them know some information that truly he should not have let them know that if, if it was a attorney client privilege, he shouldn't have let them know that. Well, that's the problem. And that's what they're trying to prove is that like he violated attorney client privilege. That's why he had to testify today. But even more than that, he violated his friendship. He's going to later on talk about how Nathan Wade was his friend. And boy, are they going to skewer this guy, man. Get your cold one ready. It's only getting started. Let's go. You know you, right? You, on your own, said it started when she left the DA's office and was judge in South Fulton. They met at the Municipal Court CLE conference. That's what you said, correct? That is correct. Now, it's your testimony at least so far that when you on your own gave those two statements in the text mm. that you were merely speculating 
and did not have that knowledge from Mr. Wade. Is that your testimony under oath? Yes. That's what I testified to. Yes, sir. So you on your own came up with the whole notion that it started when she left the DA's office and was judge in South Fulton. That's, according to you, that's speculation mm. on your part, correct? Objection. Ask Overruled. Answer. answer the question, Mr. Bradley. Yes, that's, that's speculation on my part, yes. Right. It had nothing to do with what Mr. Wade had told you, correct? I answered your question. I was speculating. I like this. This man, Sadow was not playing games. This gentleman was not coming. He was coming to the barbecue to eat. He said, I'm coming to eat at this barbecue. I'm coming to cook at this barbecue. To uh, the answer, that is correct. So maybe you can tell the court in your own words, why in the heck would you speculate? in this text message wow. and say that it started when she left the DA's office and was a judge in South Fulton. Mm. Why would you speculate and say that in a text? I knew they had met um, at the municipal court um, conference. Um, How do you know that? How do I'll you know stop it? you right there. How Here did you know that? Uh -huh. I answered that the last at the last uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm asking I knew you that now. I knew Sir, that I'm because when I'm asking you questions and you are in a situation where you get to give answers. I'm mm -hmm. asking you, how did you know that? How did somebody I know when told, they met? Somebody told you that, right? When they met? Yeah. Yes, correct. Who told you? Who told you? Mr. Wade told me when they met. There it is. So you had more than one conversation about the relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis. Because he told to you cook. where he met her. Oh, my goodness. Sadow came to cook, and this guy was not prepared. He was not ready. He had the, the flimsy plate. He needed the thick plate because he came to cook. My goodness, in the morning. So now he's got him to prove that he talked to Wade outside of the attorney-client privilege, and now it's off to the races. It's a it's a wrap. Get the aluminum foil, everybody. Get your get your to go boxes. Let's go, Mr. Bradley. When you spoke, when you communicated with Miss Merchant, did you tell her any lies about Mr. Wade and Miss Willis? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's so much here. Did you lie to her at all? Did you lie to Miss Merchant, Mr. Bradley? Did you lie to her? <laughs> oh my gosh! And you see it, man. Look at the poor man's face. The man looks defeated. He looks like, man, can I please crawl up under this witness stand and burrow my way out and get on Peachtree and run? He does not look, man, he, he is not here for the barbecue. He's not here for the cookout. He's not. Relationship. How long is that? Did I lie to Miss... That's a simple I mean, question, Mr. Bradley. You're a lawyer. Did you lie to Miss Merchant? <laughs> These attorneys were not playing games. They said, we are coming with a big appetite and we expect to be fed tonight. Wow. When you told her facts about Mr. Wade and Miss Willis's this relationship. Poor man. Not that I recall. I, I don't recall. Um... Ooh, watch this. Let, let's just take a second. The Bible says clearly, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Everything else is from the evil one. We are watching that in real time, in 4K, dare I say. If this man would just say yes or no, but he knows that he's already being walked down a path. He knows that. He knows these guys are not playing games with him. They, they want to eat, and he is said barbecue. Let's continue. I mentioned earlier that I speculated on some things. Um, I've testified to what I did know. Uh, so I, I, I can't recall whether or not I. Hmm. No. Mr. Bradley, speculation is kind of a weaselly lawyer word. Let's speak truth here. Then You're under oath. Argumentative at this point, Your Honor. I'm not asking right. relevant questions. Mr. Right, Bradley. Let's find a question, Mr. Rice. Mr. Bradley. When you were communicating different details of the relationship between Miss Willis and Mr. Wade to Mrs. Merchant, 
Did you lie to her about any of those details? Objection. Asked and answered twice. Uh, I don't think he's answered it yet. <laughs> I don't recall ever um, whether any of it was a lie or not. Well, it's time, so. at the time you were communicating with Miss Merchant, you were still friends with Mr. Wade, correct? Oh, watch this. Mm, watch this. Watch this. Oh, man. These people, man, lawyers' minds are just in, on a different plane, man. They're playing 4D chess, man. They are on a whole nother level. Watch this. They had the barbecue and they are not playing. He knows where it's going. He smells of charcoal. Yes. And at the time you were communicating with Miss Merchant, you knew that she was talking to you in her mm. role and capacity as an attorney in this case, correct? Correct. And you knew that she was going to use that information to somehow benefit and file a motion and benefit her client, correct? I did not know that. Okay, so I, I did not. What no, did you think I'm she sorry. was going to do? So as, as an attorney yourself, you are testifying here under oath that you had no idea what Miss Merchant was going to do with all the details that you were giving her about Wade and Willis's relationship. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't even know what to do. This is just getting, oh my goodness. But the cookout is just getting started, people. We just on the first, I mean, we ain't even brought out the special guest food yet. This is it. So, Nathan, not Nathan, Bradley has proven that he was his friend, but he was, he was undermining, he was doing weaselly things. And again, man, this all could have been settled if the man wasn't trying to be underhanded because he wanted to feed information to the opposition. He just didn't want to be associated with it. That's where I think where the problem is. He's like, oh, wait, y'all need to know where y'all got this information from. Oh, man. That's what I think is happening is that he thought he could just shuttle this information and it would be like, oh, nobody's going to tell where they got it from. Oh, but will they? So let's finish this up. Let's go. He's going to explain that he and Wade were friends when all this happened. So all of this is going on, and he's going to say that him and Nathan were, were still homies, still boys. And he's going to, the, the, he knows where it's coming. He knows that the telegraph punch is coming. He already smells the smoke. He already knows what's on the barbecue grill. He already knows it's him. And so he's going to hear it coming. You're going to see him just like his whole life just sinks down into the chair. Because he, he knows it's over. It's done. It's a wrap. And I, I don't know what the disbarment process is, but my goodness, in the morning, he is going to know much sooner than I am. But let's go. You pass on lies about your friends? <sighs> Have I passed on a lie about a friend? Is that what you're asking? Is that something you normally do, Mr. Bradley? Do you tell lies about your friends? I... Have I told lies Just about friends? Just say I, no. I could have. I don't know. Do you tell lies about your friends about a case of national importance? Objection. That's took. Right, overrule. Just say no. I could have. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you could have. Like, what, what other friends, are, what other cases have you been a part of, bro, that are nationally important that you would lie on a friend? Come on, man. You're a victim. Mm. <laughs> we go, CSI. We don't have after that upon information and belief, Willis and Wade met while both were serving as magistrate judges and began a romantic relationship. Okay, okay. It's, it's, uh, I apologize. Uh, it goes to the next page. I apologize. I also feel like he was really flustered, and and I noticed quite a bit of mistakes, and he had evidence from previous um his previous testimony and just weird stuff man just i feel like he was just completely thrown off i don't know why he and being that he was an attorney so i mean he and i say was because i can't think of anybody that would hire him for anything anything now i mean he has no integrity in, in the in the professional sense he has no integrity in the uh and and support in the familiar sense, like he's not who wants to be this dude's friend and, and like give him the inside scoop. Who wants to do that? Yo, man, I don't know what's going to happen to this poor man. It's this is bad. Problems. Yes. Just want to make sure. So, that no, no, I, I see that now. Yes. 
All right, so that's what I just read mm -hmm. is exactly what Ms. Merchant said to you in the text, right? Yes, that was in the test. Is, yes. is it accurate upon further information? Yes, that's there. And yes. again, since you have told us that you were speculating when you gave the answer that we went over with. Speculating. On this one, you don't say, I don't know. You it's simply over. correct her by saying no. Municipal court. Right? Yes, so the, she asked, was it accurate? And I said it wasn't accurate. No, it wasn't accurate. It was municipal court. Right. And when you said it wasn't accurate, it was municipal court, you weren't, didn't say, no, that's not accurate. They didn't start a rom romantic relationship at that time. Right. Correct? No, but I was referring to the municipal court. It's no, over. It it's accurate. over, my guy. Um, Just quit. It to the, I was answering the no municipal court, meaning if she, when she said, is that accurate, it was to the municipal court and not magistrate court. Okay. But you didn't I, say that the rest of what she asked you was accurate. You didn't say, no, that's inaccurate. That's not true. That's not accurate. You simply said the only thing that wasn't right. accurate was municipal court should be there instead of magistrate, right? Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Yo, that thing was a mess. And that's just a couple of the quick highlights that I, I saw and wanted to pull out and just kind of talk about today. Yo, Bradley is cooked. I think it's fair to say that Nathan is cooked. I think it is also fair to say that Fanny Willis is done. I could be totally wrong. I think the, the judge in this case is kind of a, a coin toss, but looking at him, listening to the evidence that I heard, again, just being a, uh, a plebe out here, I feel like they made a great case that there was a problem in the DA's office and, you know, I, I don't know how they're going to resolve. I don't know how the opposition is going to pull off a W in this. It looks a lot like a lot like an L to me, but I want to know what you think. So down in the comments down below, let me know what you think. Drop your comments, all that kind of good stuff. And please, if you don't mind, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. And until next time, everybody, grace and peace. We're out.